Hey y'all, this is Bullgrip, and this past Tuesday, July 17th, was my birthday. I am now 51 years old. Over 50 Overwatch. Anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity. This game you're watching here uh, is a deathmatch game I played on my birthday. Um, anyway, I posted on Reddit, I posted a uh, Ask Me Anything thread. It was nothing formal, I just kind of did it just being funny on my birthday. I actually did it last year on my 50th birthday where I told everyone, said, uh, you know, hey y'all, I just turned 50 years old. I've been playing games as long as they've been in the general public. I have two sons I play with. And, you know, I just kind of set it up that way. And I said, uh, here I am. If you have anything you want to ask of somebody my age, because I know most of the people uh, on Reddit and probably most of the people watching this, uh, this channel are half my age or younger. If you have any questions, ask them and I'll answer. And so let me go through some of the questions that were asked and I'll give you my answers to them. One of the first questions I got was, uh, tell us which games are your favorites from all the games you've played all over all these years. And I have played lots and lots and lots of games. I mean, I've, I've not been as prolific a player as like you know the, the professionals who you know have professional YouTube channels and this kind of stuff but it's just you know over 40 plus years of video games being available I've played a lot uh, so I've played uh, Trade Wars and Warlords which were old uh, bulletin board system games Street Fighter 2 I played a lot I played that in college with a lot of my friends uh, all the Half-Life franchise, including the Portals, uh, several years of World of Warcraft, and I played that with my sons also. Uh, lots of Minecraft, all the Diablos. Uh, I played the original Call of Duty and uh, the Modern Warfare 1. Uh, of course, I played Overwatch. Uh, I played way back when my first son was born. I played Team Fortress Classic. I remember uh, him being in his room asleep, and I was at night playing Team Fortress Classic. Also played TF2, uh, the original Counter-Strike, uh, Day of Defeat, and of course there's the uh, the arcade games that I played a lot of, besides like, uh, uh, of course, Pac-Man and um, Space Invaders. I played Tempest, Gauntlet, Quartet, Zabots, um, was it Gorf? Was that the name of it? I think, yeah, Gorf. Uh, I played a lot of that also in the arcades. Um, let's see, what are some other questions? Um, my earliest uh, first-person shooter I played was Doom. Uh, I briefly played Wolfenstein for a few minutes on a friend's computer, but that actually was after I'd already played Doom. And I played Doom 2, and I played Doom 3. Um, let's see. Uh, other than World of Warcraft, I really never played much of the, uh, the fantasy multiplayer online games. I played a lot of Dungeons & Dragons. So I really, you know, I, I looked at that as I was kind of playing the real game, so I didn't need to play the, uh, the computer versions of them. So I didn't play too many of those. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of other games that I, I played and played a lot of just over the decades. I can't remember what they all were. Um, let me see, what were some of the other questions? Oh yeah, I mentioned uh, Team Fortress Classic. I played that. As a matter of fact, Team Fortress Classic is where I first started using the name Bullgrit. Uh, I played a lot. My ping at the time was very bad. I, I had a regular 250 ping, and so I played a lot of Engineer, so I could use the the turret, and I didn't have to worry about my ping that much. But once I got better ping, I moved on to playing Demo Man a lot. Uh, but using Bullgrit. I joked a lot with my, my people online and with my friends that uh, I was bull grip, my wife was cow grip, and my son was calf grip. Um, my wife didn't like that too much. I ended up calling her wife grip. Anyway, and I, let's see, calling her wife grip or mentioning that, I have a, a blog that I really haven't kept up in the past couple of years, but I'll put a link in the bottom if you're interested in seeing. It was a dad blog. It was not gaming. and there, There's gaming stuff in it, but it was mostly just me being a dad and raising kids. So if you're interested to see that, look down in the description below and I'll show you that. Um, another question was, uh, which was my favorite Diablo? Diablo 2 was my favorite. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in 3. Uh, let's see. Another question. When somebody is being toxic in voice chat, what do you tell them? Uh, my answer 
I try to be the voice of calm in um, in the voice call in the voice chat. Uh, I think experience raising kids kind of helps with this. Uh, if within a couple of minutes I can't get the toxic player to calm down, which it's rare, but it does happen. I advise everyone just mute them, and I mute them myself. As much as I'd like to calm somebody down, I really I don't need or have to suffer through somebody else's tantrum, and that's what I advise all of you. If if you've got somebody being uh, being toxic in voice calm, just mute them, block them, report them. Don't feel like you have to suffer through that stuff. You don't. You don't have to hear any of that. It doesn't do you any good. Mute block report get them out of your life uh, someone else asked uh, are your are you better than your kids or are your kids better than you in overwatch oh and as I'm sure you guys have seen here on this channel they're both better than me uh, they're they're both ranks above me there's no doubt there uh, someone else asked as a 50 year old is there any social stigma on you that comes with gaming and my answer uh, that's a good question I've not encountered any stigma or weirdness from anyone over my game playing. Uh, people my age who don't play have no reaction when the subject comes up. Just like I don't have any reaction when they bring up their favorite sport. It's just, it's not a, a common subject that we talk about, so we don't talk about it. Um, but when I, I do meet someone my age who also plays, uh, we've become like 13-year-old geeks and we just, we just chatter about it and we, we have a lot of fun talking about it. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I found out that our exterminator that does our house plays World of Warcraft. He noticed some of my World of Warcraft stuff out when I was playing, and he revealed that he played also. And uh, we became friends through that, just even though we only ever see each other when he's treating the house for termites and, and, and stuff. So that was funny. And he's my age. Uh, let's see, another question. What was the first system that you can remember owning? First game you remember playing? Uh, well, the, the first console I owned was an Atari 2600. Uh, the first game I played was Pong. I played that at a friend's house who had the console, you know, with the, the one knob controllers. Uh, the first computer I owned was the Commodore 64. It wasn't just for games, but yeah, I admit that was a majority of what I used for it. Um, he asked another question. As a gamer, do you have any experience with games beyond the visual medium? Uh, like uh, table cup, tabletop games, collectible card games, such. Yes, I have a ton of experience with that also. Uh, the classic Dungeons and Dragons, uh, basic D&D, advanced D&D 1 and 2, D&D 3, 3rd edition. Um, played a lot of those for years and years, for like two or three decades. I mean, it was at least 25 years. Uh, plus a lot of other table RPGs, Marvel superheroes, Shadowrun, uh, and Star Wars, uh, uh, lots of the uh, tabletop RPGs. I played Magic the Gathering for a few years. Uh, thousands of cards, which I eventually I sold most of my really rare ones uh, to support my other gaming habits, you know, to buy D&D books or to buy more computer games. Um, I played some of the Pokemon card game with my sons for a few years. I've got hundreds of those cards. I dabbled in Warhammer 40,000. I sucked at that. I love Battletech. Uh, I, my, one of my favorite board games is uh, Talisman, which I have four box, in, you know, four. I got the main set plus uh, three expansions. Um, I like Risk. Risk is one of my favorite traditional board games. Um, let's see, move on to another. Do you get irritated over little kids being little kids over the mic? No. I, I've never had a problem with. Uh, younger players on mic. I've never, I don't think I've ever experienced a bad one. They're, they're all great. The only people I've heard go toxic on mic is, I uh, suspect, are the 25 plus year olds. They sound like they're around 25 in the mid 20s. Uh, I try to calm them down, but, you know, I've already explained what I do there. Anyway, that's, uh, looks like all I've got time for right now. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you want to see more of this, subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good day.